So, it's time to do a setup of my new iPad Air 2020, iPad Air 4, the fourth generation. So let's start by doing the first boot and follow the guide. I have powered the iPad already, so now we can do a setup of it. Here I will choose the right language and I am Swedish, I will choose Swedish of course, like so. Now I will choose the region and that's also Sweden or Europe maybe. I don't remember but we see Sweden here somewhere maybe. Yes, Sverige, Sweden. And here it says that I should place my iPhone or iPad like so. And as you can see now you can I can start a setup of the iPad by holding the camera above that and now they are connected. Now the iPad is waiting on the iPhone. I don't get it why it takes so long to connect though. That's strange. Now I should choose a Wi-Fi network and then I choose my network of course like so. Now it activates my iPad it says privacy and so on. Touch ID. Now I should set up the Touch ID. It's important to cover the whole button with your finger. It says also the edges of the finger like so. I can do more fingers now. I need to have this finger too, the left finger for my when it's in the landscape mode if you know what I mean. So quite fast and now it needs a pin code like so. Now it asks how I want to send over my apps and data for the apps and I want to choose an iCloud copy backup. Now my Apple ID, they have sent a verification code now to my, to my iPhone it says. So now I have entered the verification code. Now some uh, click continue. Now I should choose a backup, iCloud backup. I take my iPhone XS Max from yesterday. Activate, activate location services. I do that for now because I will go into the settings to deactivate the services. I don't want to be able to locate me exactly what it says here. Now it want to set up Apple Pay on this one. I will do this later instead. Siri. Ask if I want to share my Siri. I choose that for now. I maybe turn that off later on. iPad analyzing. No. Don't share. And I need to do a program update to iPadOS 14 by 1. That's, I thought I should have that version already, but. So this will take quite a while, so I will pause this video. So now I've updated it to iPadOS 14.1. Point one, and now it takes will take a lot of time to recreate it from a iCloud backup. So I need to pause this video again.
again, but as you can see, after updating to iPadOS 14.1, you will have to recreate it from an iCloud backup if you want to have all your settings, all your apps and data and so on. If you just want to start from scratch as a new device, then you don't need to do this. So let's pause again. So now I've recreated this iPad from an iPhone iCloud backup. So now it goes through some stuff. Just continue. And it wants to set up Apple Pay. I do that later. And screen on time. I said later on that. On how we should use light or dark theme. I want to have it automatically. But uh, let's choose dark for now. Welcome. Like so. Now I think it should uh, update. Copy all my apps and so on. As you can see. It will take quite a while, as you can see. And uh, iPadOS doesn't have uh, the app drawer, I think that's bad. So, and we have all the widgets and so on, so I will set that up too, but not in this video. So, this is it. But what's the message here? It wants me to set up Apple Pay, but I don't want that, so later. So, that's about it for this video. I will now do a lot of settings and so on, set this up and so on. But um, I need to do a video edit first in LumaFusion for my unboxing video. So, I will do a lot of videos, of course, about this iPad. Trust me, you will see a lot more from this one. Okay, bye.